Hey everyone, here's a quick and easy one. The problem is called lost lineup. In this problem, you have to determine the original order of a bunch of integers. For example, let's look at sample app put two. The original order is one, four, two, three. So this is what you have to output. And the sequence always starts with a one. Now for the input, you're given the number of elements. So four here means you will have four numbers, one, two, three, four. And these three numbers, tells you the location of the numbers 2, 3, and 4 in that order. Actually, if you look at the question, they're saying that the input here is the number of other integers between 1, which is always at the start, and that number. So there is one number between 2 and 1, there are two numbers between 3 and 1, and there are zero numbers between 4 and 1, which means that the order is 4, 2, 3 following one of course. It seems simple enough so let's start coding it. I'm going to read in the first integer, uh, let's call it n and then we're going to loop. Um, how many times do we have to loop? Well that would be n minus 1 And from here, my plan is to fill up an array with the, the integers in order. So let me explain how I will fill up this array. When I read the first integer on the second line, that's a 1. I know that will be the location of the integer 2, right? So with 1 here, I'll put in 2. Um, when I read the second one, it's a 2. I know that will be the location of the integer 3. So I'll put three in here and last one zero i know that's going to be the location of integer four so i put four there now there are several ways you can do this if you want to you can put one at a start which means that we just have to uh increment a different you have to put the integer in a different location on the array um it's really up to you how you want to do it i'm going to do it like this so i don't actually need the last um, entry. So keeping this in mind, let's make an array of size. Um, how big should this? Uh, how big should this be? That would be n minus one. And now let's start reading the input. So when I read in one, what do I have to do? I know that is the uh, location of the integer two. So I'm going to say R X equal to, well, it's going to be um, I plus two. Well, because we set I is zero, so um, we're going to start with two and then three and then four and then so on. Okay, and now all we have to do is just print out the contents of the array. It should print it out in order, but let me, well, let's give it a try. I think it should be okay. Uh, so, uh, dot length, i plus plus. You have to start by printing out one, and must be a print. And then we're going to print out the rest. Actually, I was just thinking that um, I want to print the space before each entry because otherwise I'm going to have extra space at the end. So oh, probably doesn't matter, but this is better anyway. Okay, uh, and then we print out a new line and that should be it. Let's give it a try. Four, one to zero. Hmm, is I'm missing something? Um, never mind. Sorry, I was just running the wrong <laughs> application. So let's try it again. Four, one to zero, one four to three. So let's try that again. Two zero, one two. All right. So looks simple enough. Let's try to submit it. Hopefully that works.
Okay, looks good. So give this a try yourself. Um, you have a rough idea on how to do it. This is a very simple beginner problem still, but it's I think it's a good practice on problem comprehension. As in, you have to read the you have to read the problem and you have to understand it. So yeah, give it a go. Well, you already know how to do it now, I guess. Um, so that's it for me. Just a quick one today. Thank you.